Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now if you've got a Haas mill, you're probably familiar with P-Cool. But trust me, there's more to the Haas programmable coolant nozzle than you might know. So stick around. So this is our P-Cool. P-Cool stands for programmable coolant. And depending on how we set this up, this coolant nozzle is going to move automatically inside of our program which is gonna keep our coolant flow aimed perfectly at our tools throughout our entire program. We've got three ways that we can set and make use of our P-Cool nozzle on our Haas mills. Number one, we can set it manually once, and from then on, the control is gonna adjust that nozzle automatically from tool to tool. Number two, we can adjust that P-Cool nozzle up or down right from within our program to keep the coolant on target using M codes. And finally, number three, we can control the coolant nozzle with macro variables. Now with some creative macro programming, we can even get the control to set our P-Cool positions automatically. Now I'll give you that macro at the end. To set our P-Cool manually, all we've gotta do is, is load up a tool into the spindle, then come over to the control and turn the coolant on. And we'll adjust that nozzle up or down by pressing the coolant up or coolant down buttons until the coolant is aimed just perfectly where we want it. Now that we've got our coolant adjusted just perfectly, we have to find out what the current P-Cool position number is. And you can find this on the control by pressing memory and looking at the coolant window. There's our coolant position right there. That P-Cool position is also shown on the tool offset page. If it doesn't show up on your control, uh, you might have to highlight the coolant position column. We enter the current coolant position, 1 through 34, into the coolant position column on our tool offset page. Pressing enter is going to add the value to our coolant position, while pressing F1 overwrites it, just like a lot of the other columns on our tool offset page. Now, when an H code is reached in your program, the coolant nozzle moves into the position noted in the coolant position column for that tool offset. Now, the H code does a whole lot more than control just your coolant position, though. We're using tool 5, so we're using offset 5 for our tool length geometry and our coolant position. So as our program runs, the control is going to adjust that nozzle up or down each time a new H code is run across for each and every one of your tools. All we've got to do is turn on our coolant, adjust the nozzle up or down, and write that P-Cool position value onto our coolant position screen. There's a whole lot more to P-Cool, though. Check out this part setup. I have a tap that is getting great coolant on one hole, but over here, as the tap dives into this pocket, the coolant becomes obstructed. We can adjust the position from within a program just by calling up an M34 or M35 from within that program. Each M35 command is going to increment the nozzle up by one position. By adding a few M35s to the program, our tool can get good coverage on both features. Now, depending on your tool length and the angle of that nozzle, each M34 or M35 bump is about 0.4 inches or 10 millimeters. Now, again, the next time we run across an H code in our program, the coolant nozzle is going to revert back to whatever coolant position we have on our tool offset coolant position column. In the same way that we were using an M35 to adjust our coolant with this tap, you can do that with an end mill or even a long drill. This is really useful with long drills. You can break up your drilling cycle into two cycles, one for, the, for halfway down and one for the full depth. And right in the middle, you can call a bunch of M35s. This is going to keep your coolant aimed at the top of the hole where you need to feed that coolant in instead of aiming the coolant at the side of your part. Lastly, and my favorite, we're going to set our coolant positions using macros. So, pound 3401 through 3600 correlate to tool offset coolant positions 1 through 200. So from our control, if we command a pound 3401 equals 12, we're going to be writing to coolant position for tool 1 with a value of 12. If we command a 3402, we're writing to the coolant position for tool 2. 3403, tool 3 coolant position, and so on. You get the idea. Now, if you've got repeat jobs with known tool lengths, you can actually write those P cool positions right into your program. In fact, if you've got probing, I've written a little macro that'll set all of your P cool positions for you. Go ahead and click on the, the bonus content link at the end of the YouTube version of this video uh, for this macro. I've got the macro loaded up right here, 
I've already touched off all my tools with the probe, and I'm going to press cycle start. Just like that, the control analyzed all my tool lengths and wrote to my coolant positions for all of my tools. Pretty cool. Fun stuff. Well, I hope you got some, uh, some useful ideas out of today's tips. And be sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.